Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. I bet you would be surprised to find out that densification, the decrease of the Earth's crust is what caused this magnitude 6.3 earthquake there in Chile. Not surprisingly, USGS has only reported one earthquake for this area, where the other area um, is still ongoing, which had that um, 6.5 on the 1st of September this year. Today is the 5th. Using EMSC, I marked out all these earthquakes. And what do, do I mean by the lessening of the weight of the Earth's crust and densification? This area and the other area is currently going through an extreme drought because of the lack of water and the pressure being placed on the South American plate. It is releasing that pressure so that it will slide over easily the Nazca plate. I recently found a news article saying how frog traps save Chilean farming community from severe drought. In this article, the Cambingo region, 300 kilometers north of San Diego, is suffering a brutal drought, drought and faces the threat of becoming part of the Atacama Desert by 2050. So where is Cambimbo? Sorry for pronouncing that wrong. I'll zoom into this location. And it's right smack down here above where, or kind of in the middle actually, where these earthquakes have been occurring. So using Earth google.com here's the image of this location and i'll bring it out so you can see how dry it is areas that used to be green are now brown this here is zoom earth as of 2018 you notice this line here one side green the other side brown if i go to august everything is brown and this is Google Earth. Now, according to Google Earth, this is from December of 2019. Everything is pretty much brown. If I zoom in, it says uh, February 6th of this year. And I'll zoom in a little bit more. And the date doesn't change. This research paper here, it says, we have developed a two-dimensional subduction zone model uh, based on calculations includes the effects of melting process on the density distributions in the lithosphere. Our models calculate the metaphorbic density of rocks as a function of pressure, temperature, and chemical composition in a subduction zone down to 250 kilometers. We have used this model to show how the hydration, dehydration, partial melt, and fractionation process of rocks all influence the metaphoric density and greatly depend on the chemical field within the subduction zone. Hydration and dehydration. Remember in my last report about the Salton Sea, how the earthquakes there have increased since its dehydration, since it started drying up. All these earthquakes have been about 30 kilometers in depth. These are all the ones that EMSC has posted up until maybe about two hours ago. The only one that USGS is posting is the 6.2, which they raised to a magnitude 6.3. There was some localized uh, damage to buildings, elevators, minor structural damage to buildings um, in some areas localized power outages, nothing very significant. But this area is capable of having a magnitude 8 or greater earthquake. Actually, both these areas where these earthquakes have been occurring are capable of having a magnitude 8. This whole area is becoming desert, and the desert actually extends from all the way up over here. That's the Atacama Desert. And it's slowly growing. 
Um, yeah, no help from deforestation, I imagine. Changes in our weather pattern, etc. But as the South American plate gets lighter because of the lack of water, you're going to see more earthquakes. In 1922, they, there was a 8.5 in this location. Not far inland between the two. The South American plate will more easily slide over Nazca plate, and you'll probably have mega thrust earthquakes, which very well um, would cause tsunamis. Another thing to consider as the earth crust becomes lighter, many people call it rebound, that will make it easier for the magma to come up through the earth's crust too, besides large earthquakes. Yep, I was in fact surprised to read about this. I've been spending all day doing research about this location and its geology. And effects like this, like I said, you're going to see in other parts of the world. Um, the most recent article I did was uh, there at the Salton Sea. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you want to follow me, I am on Twitter. And if you wish to support my work, I'm also on Patreon and PayPal. Please stay safe, and I will talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye.